the year 2024 started with a severe health crisis for Brazil as the country's hot rainy season led to a massive dengue outbreak. The Brazilian rainy season from December to May are also the hottest months of the year. According to health officials, Brazil has reported 3,64,855 cases of dengue infections and 40 deaths in the first five weeks of this year. This is equivalent to four times the cases reported in the same period as last year. Responding to the outbreak, three Brazilian states have declared emergencies, including the second most populous state, Minas Gerais. Army troops have been deployed in the capital, Brasilia, to help track breeding spots of the Aedes aegypti mosquito and to set up hospitals. And with the Rio de Janeiro carnival, a mega event attended by one lakh people per day, set to begin on February 14, Brazil is highly volatile at the moment. The sudden surge in dengue numbers for Brazil during the Southern Hemisphere summer can be attributed to the rising temperature and the El Nino weather pattern in the Pacific. The dengue crisis is not just limited to Brazil. In recent years, other countries in South America, Africa and South Asia have experienced a surge in the number of dengue infections. This current dengue outbreak is part of a large global increase in dengue fever with over 500 million cases and over 5,000 deaths reported last year from 80 countries in every region of the world except Europe, the WHO said. Globally, about 400 million people are infected with dengue every year, leading to about 40,000 deaths. As with most infectious diseases, the number of cases tend to rise and fall over the years as epidemics come and go. But recent times have seen a steady rise of dengue outbreaks around the world, which are larger and less predictable. So why is there a sudden surge of this tropical disease? All mosquitoes need water to breed. It is usually the lack of these breeding sites that cap the number of mosquitoes. But a change in climate and rain patterns have made the situation unpredictable. For example, the early arrival of rains coupled with unusually high temperatures and humidity led to a surge in dengue infections in Bangladesh last year. Bangladesh also recorded the highest number of deaths due to dengue in 2023. Furthermore, Aedes aegypti, which is essentially a tropical mosquito, is also a very adaptable insect. In recent years, these mosquitoes have expanded their range out of the tropics into parts of Europe, the US and Africa, where they have been previously absent. So, how do we solve this issue? The solution is likely to be an affordable and effective vaccine as well as the population control of Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. The WHO has recently recommended the Denga vaccine for children living in areas where the infection is a major public health problem. During the ongoing crisis, Brazil has brought 5.2 million doses of the Dengue vaccine Denga. Officials also stated recently that Brasilia will start vaccinating children aged 10 to 14 with Denga. As the world gets increasingly warmer and wetter, mosquito-related disease outbreaks are predicted to rise and spread. And as with most other life-threatening communicable diseases, it is once again the poorest communities in the global tropics that will have to bear the brunt of this.